Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own type of Gorilla Tag game. Uh, throughout this entire tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add players, how to add multiplayer, how to even add the movement. Real quick, I'm just going to say Lemming. Uh, if you want me to take the video down, I can. No worries. But uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so step one is you're just going to want to create a project. I'm going to be using URP. Uh, name it literally anything. I'm just naming mine tutorial. Okay, once Unity loads up, you're going to uh, go over to your project settings. Uh, go over to the package manager and enable preview packages. Uh, now you're going to go over to the Unity registry, search up XR, and install the XR plugin management uh, pl um, package. Once that has finished importing, you're going to click on the XR interaction toolkit, hit see other versions, and select 1.0.0 pre-6. And you can select install or import. Once it has finished importing, just if it asks you a question, just select yes. And it will automatically restart your Unity so it can install. Once Unity has uh, booted up, um, you are now going to import the package for it. I will provide you with a package in the description. It's called the Gorilla Ro Locomotion. And you just open it up and it'll and select import. Once it has finished importing, I'm just going to delete the example assets because I'm not going to be using it. And now I'm going to open up the, uh, yeah, I'm also going to delete the scene. And I'm going to open up the gorilla locomotion scene in the scenes. Now, uh, it, it may have turned all purple for you. If it didn't, good. Um, but if it does happen, just make a new material and put the material on all objects. Okay, so next thing I want to show you guys is how to import your own character model. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to just import a model that is automatically, that is already rigged for you. You can just right click, hit select import new asset. Now you can select all of the materials and model you want to go to the asset store. And I want you to search up on the asset store fast IK. Once you have uh, added that to your assets, you can go back to Unity and you can go to my assets and you can import the asset from the package manager. Now I'm just going to disable everything except for the scripts. So just enable, disable everything except for the scripts because that's all we really need. Once you have finished importing it, just drag your model onto the main camera. And you can go to the end of the head. You can add component. And you can search for fabric. Uh, once you've searched for fabric, you can hit target and you can drag the main camera as the target. Now, go to the last bone on the arms. Uh, for me, is the left hand, or is the hand. And fast IK fabric, and then you're going to drag the left hand controller for the left hand, and then you're going to do the exact same for the right hand. There's one final thing to do. I want you to go to your project settings, click on XR plugin management at the bottom, and make sure that Oculus is checked and that uh, Intelize XR on startup is also checked. And we are now pretty much finished. Uh, there is not much left to do, uh, except for, I guess, cleaning up the player and finishing the stuff. And yeah, uh, now uh, if you just run the game uh, with your headset connected in Airlink, you can just play.